Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Pinocchio Goria. Don't ask me to say that again because I probably don't even know what I just said. This is supposed to be about Pinocchio and we've all heard about Pinocchio and this is this person's take on it. If you guys cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. Let's get in the mood, everybody. It's 1820. God damn, that was a long time ago. What are you crying for? I didn't even know crying was invented in 1820. Geppetto said, Doctor, are my wife and my son okay? Mr. Geppetto, I'm really sorry. Your wife had complications during delivery. I'm afraid she passed away. What about my son? Actually, your wife gave birth to twins, a girl and a boy. Before dying, she told me she wanted to name the girl Mia and the boy. I don't care about the girl. I need a son who can follow my steps in the art of marionettes. I'm sorry, but your son also passed away a few seconds after being born. I'm sorry, that's not funny. That's not funny. I don't know why I had that nervous giggle right there. I think it's because Geppetto was actually super excited to have a son and the son also passed away. So now he's stuck with Mamma Mia. Your daughter is all you have now. No. No! <laughs> Bro, growled like a grizzly bear. 1828. So Mia is now eight years old, if my math is mathing correctly. And I'm assuming that we are going to play as Mia. Mia said, Father, why can't we celebrate my birthday? Celebrate your birthday? You should be thankful I allow you to live with me. They did it different in the 1800s. I should have left you in an orphanage. The other children celebrate their birthday? Not, oh, shit. I don't like this Geppetto fellow. I despise you. It's you who should have died, not your brother. If I could trade your life to make him come back to life, I'd do it. Please tell me that we can kill Geppetto. Please. All I wanted was a son so I could teach him everything about the marionettes. Instead, God took away my wife and my son and left me with you. Do you know why I allow you to live here? Because you got her ears. She probably would have begged me to let you stay. So I do it for her. Otherwise, I would have never taken care of you. Mia, you're trash. You mean nothing to me. I pray every night to God. And do you know what I ask him? Lord, please get rid of her and bring back my wife and my son to life. But keep her ears though. Geppetto is a real asshole. I like that they already marinated me to hate him. So once he's fully seasoned, I'm gonna hate his ass and I'm gonna kill him. Come here, Mia. Look, it's finally finished. What is that, father? No, not that, him. He's your brother, the son I lost. This is what he would have looked like. His name is Pinocchio. Pinocchio? Don't be rude, Mia. Say hi to your brother. But father, he's just a marionette. Mia, I gave you an order. Greet your brother before I get mad. Hi, brother. Yes, that's it. I knew you two would get along well. Aren't you glad, Mia? We're almost a family again. I think Geppetto has gone off his cuckoo. I just need a way to bring back your mother. Pinocchio Gorilla. That sounds like an STD. It sounds like it's itchy. Like, I'm itchy right now. Can we move? We can't move. We just have to awkwardly stand here. But this game is by A.V. Dasau. He's the person who made the one about the social worker. The one that had, like, those crazy little jiggle physics. And I'm assuming this game is going to have that, too. And hopefully it's not from Pinocchio or anything like that. 1850. She's almost 50 years old. We're in Geppetto Manor. Mia's room. A few days ago, my father returned from a long trip. He brought a very strange jewel. Then he locked himself in his workshop. He has been locked in there for three days and he refuses to go out. He claims to be working on a very important project. I fear for his health. He hasn't eaten in three days. I hope he finishes that project soon. Although I have a bad feeling about this, maybe I should bring him some food and try to make him get out? Press the directional keys to move, press Z to confirm, accept advanced dialogue, press X to access the menu, hold shift to run. 
You can save your progress by using the blue diaries, okay? Let me save this real quick because that was a long ass intro. And let me see what this is. I got a lamp. You can activate the lamp from the item menu. Okay, so we got a complimentary horror game lamp. You can check how much oil you have in the menu. All right, so this doesn't last forever. Nothing ever lasts forever, especially not this lamp. So let's see, let me go in this door. And this is the bathroom, but I've already shit my pants. You can recover your health by taking baths. Should I take a bath? Hell no. So yeah, Mia definitely has some jiggle to her. Let's just get that out the way, everybody, because I know people want me to acknowledge it. She does got the jiggly jigglies. A photograph of my parents. They look so happy together. My father's diary. Should I read its latest entry? Hell yeah. Diary of Male Londeo Gipento. After years of thorough research, I finally discovered something that can help me fulfill my dream. There are rumors of a jewel somewhere in the caves of the north. A jewel capable of channeling a spirit and allowing it to possess a vessel. The vessel can be an inanimate object or a living being. If this jewel truly exists, then I can use it to... The page has been torn out. The remaining pages are missing. Channel a spirit? Possess an object or a living being? I don't understand. Father, what are you planning? Isn't it obvious, Mia? He wants to use that jewel to bring your mother and your brother to life. Are you kidding me? You know what, Mia? It's okay. They probably didn't have advanced thinking in the 1850s, so I don't blame you. A painting of my mother. We have the same eyes and the same ears. Don't forget about the ears. This is an oil flask. You can refill your oil here. I guess I'll refill my oil since it's unlimited. Where is Geppetto? This is the dining room. Okay, so I can actually make Geppetto some dinner. It's quarter past midnight. Thank you for that. Where can I make Geppetto a sandwich or something? Maybe some oatmeal? I don't know. What kind of foods did they have in the 1850s? I really don't know. There's a storm outside. Oh, sorry. Didn't know you were a little chicken shit. This gotta be the kitchen. It's the first floor hallway. Gardening shears. I better leave them here. Something tells me that I'm gonna need them later. This is the workshop. Oh, I forgot about the food. I baked some bread earlier today. It's in the kitchen. Okay, well, let's get this bread. A tome is missing. These books were here even before my father brought this house. There we go, the kitchen. Yes, one little loaf of bread just chilling. I baked this bread earlier today. I should bring it to my father. He needs to eat something. Yeah, he does. It's locked with a key. Okay, we'll I'll figure this out. Bro, it is hot as shit in this room right now. So, my AC is not working, and I am sweating balls already. Wait, where do I go? I think I go here. To the workshop, there you go. To the workshop we go. Mamma mia, these jiggle physics. A painting of my mother, we have the same eyes. Can you shut up with the same eyes? Geppetto's workshop. Your eyes aren't even nice, so that's not even a compliment. Father, it's me, Mia. I brought you some food. Mia, go away. I'm busy. But father, you haven't eaten anything in three days. At least accept this bread I made. I told you to leave me alone. I can't waste time with food. I'm close to fulfilling my dream. You want to ruin everything like you always do, don't you? always ruin my life but not this time this jewel will bring back my son and then i will use it to bring back my wife i just need to decipher how to unleash its power father what do you mean what are you doing in there go away leave me alone damn sorry for just existing i'll leave it outside the door okay geppetto does not deserve me as a daughter bro is so mean i better go back to my room what about here, though? It's locked with a key. Geppetto's workshop. I mean, we obviously know it's Geppetto's workshop. So I have a feeling that since this is a scary game, he's going to get it to work, but he's also going to bring an evil spirit when he makes Pinocchio become a real boy. Because if you don't know the story of Pinocchio, Geppetto does the marionette stuff because he's always wanted a son. I never knew that he lost a son, though. Maybe this is canon. I don't know. I don't want to be in Geppetto's bedroom. Stank-ass bedroom. Probably smells like ass. Because all he's doing is being focused on- <gasps> What just happened? 
An earthquake? But what was that green light? Something's wrong. My father, I have to go see him. Uh-oh. The door's open. Be careful. Stay frosty. Watch your six. Tango down. Hello. Geppetti. Pinocchio Gorilla. Whatever your name is. This is Pinocchio's room. My father and Pinocchio are gone. Did he take Pinocchio and left? I need to find him. I have a bad feeling about this. Who's gonna tell her? Who's gonna tell her that she's probably going to get killed? I am nervous as shitballs. Wait! That thing that was here is gone. The shears are gone. Did father take them? Maybe, baby. Pinocchio? Oh boy. That sound came from the dining room. Pinocchio's hungry? Bro's hangry. Pinocchio? Father? Are you there? Oh shit. <laughs> Pinocchio laughs like a little bitch. Pinocchio! My god, this can't be real. Warning, Pinocchio will try to kill you. Each time he attacks you, you will lose health. If your health reaches zero, you will die. Oh, okay. My bad, Pinocchio, relax, bud. It's quarter past midnight. This is his first time meeting his sister. Bro already wants to cut me out of his life. And yes, that was a pun. And yes, that shit was intended. But where the hell do I go? Oh my goodness, you mother sucker, you bow cut haired bitch. I don't know where to go. Maybe I go upstairs. Okay, let me go upstairs, let me go upstairs, let me go upstairs. Jiggle my way up to the second floor. Come on, Pinocchio. Oh! What? Damn. <laughs> what the f- How was he up on the second floor? He was just chasing me from the back and then all of a sudden he was already on the second floor? I have no idea what that says, by the way. I feel like if I read that out loud, my furniture is gonna start floating. Let me actually save right here because I don't even know if this dude's gonna snip my asshole one more time. So I think that we have to go to the second floor because there's nowhere else I can go on the first floor. And this bowl cut haired shit stain needs to use those shears on his own hair because that bowl cut is so last year. Let me go, let me go. Cause I'm talking that shit. I'm talking the most. But yeah, I don't know how he ended up on the second floor when I was already going up there. That doesn't even make any sense. I feel like that was a plot hole, but I need to go where? Right here? Please tell me, Please tell me this is it. Oh God, no, fuck you. Yo, where am I going, bro? Here, this is it. I feel it. I smell it. No, not the bathroom. Go! I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I deserve this. I can't believe baby girl got the bazongas, though. Like, they are... Okay, come on. Let's go. Yeah, real funny. Real freaking funny, dude. Come on. Dude's really about to kill his sister first meeting. Worst family reunion ever, I dare say. Let me move the mouse out the way after I'm done running. Because I know the mouse being on the screen is a little distracting. Here, let me do that. There you go. Okay, so the bathroom is down here. Do not go there, Jay. This is the only room that we can go into. Mia's room. Father! Mia, I was looking for you. Father, we need to get out of here. Pinocchio is alive, and he took the garden shears. He wants to hurt me. Yes, I know. I'm responsible for that. Okay, now give me the nine millimeters so I can handle business. Father, what's going on? Please tell me. Does this have anything to do with that jewel you brought from your trip? Da, da, da. You really want to know? Then listen. We don't have time to listen. This dude's like, sit around the campfire, boys and girls. Let me tell you a story as Pinocchio is coming to kill us with some garden shears. What is this shit, bro? All right, let me save. And, dude, even Geppetto got that ass, bro. I can't, everybody. Geppetto got so much ass. He got so much sass. Look at that. He got hips. He has Miami hips. I don't even know why I'm saving again. I took, like, 30 steps. I guess it was because I was hypnotized by those buns. Who's this bald mother sucker? Uh, who are you, old man? I came here looking for the jewel that grants wishes. Not just wishes. It can also channel spirits and allow them to possess certain vessels. Oh yes, truly an incredible jewel. What about you? I'm here for the jewel too. You better not interfere or I'll have to 
kill you, yeah, you old geezer. That's not fair. I came here first. I don't care. The jewel will be mine and I'll have my family back. You've been warned. Don't interfere or I will have to kill you. Yeah, old man. I'll have to kill you. You didn't hear me the first three times, so let me say it again. I'll have to kill you. Let me stop. Let me stop. I get really emotional and I get really hyper when we're talking about killing old bald men. Broken minds cannot stand still. All right. Well, I guess I'm a broken mind because I sure as hell can't stand still. Wait. What is this? Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. Yeah, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. All right. How am I going to do this? Hold on. Boom. Bop. Pow. Yes. That's what I need. Did I do something? Oh, I think I opened that thing that was closed up top. I'm so hypnotized by Pinocchio. I mean, Geppetto's butt. I mean, what? Hold on. Let me go over here. Let me hide in this hole from embarrassment and shame. If you can read this, listen to my warning. The jewel is cursed. Yes, it is powerful and it can help you achieve your goals. But in turn, a dire curse will fall upon you and your descendants. I don't care. I want my son and my wife. I don't give a shit, bro. <laughs> is there anything in here besides grass and disappointment? Where's that old man at? I want to apologize to the old man. Or maybe I should have just killed him sooner. Where you at, old man? You better not be here. I told you I will have to kill you. Red, blue, yellow, green? What? What? Hold on. In my dawn, I looked at the giant in the skies, proud and hopeful. Then came the horrors of war and slaughter. What a sad death. What a shitty poem. Hold on. Okay, I need to figure out what the three colors would be. So am I supposed to look at the cracked head and see what color it actually is? Let me see. It's blue, right? Am I doing this right? It's a blue head. Hold on. Let me see what else we got in here. Uh, green grass. Okay. I don't know. In my dawn, I looked at the giant in the skies, proud and hopeful. Then came the horrors of war and slaughter. What a sad death. Hmm. So maybe it's yellow. No, yellow, red. Seems like something opened. Holy shit, that scared me. <laughs> okay. I guess we had to associate the colors with each line of that little poem thing. Old man? Damn it. Another dead end. Don't get in my way. Yeah, don't get in my way, old man. Nice. What do I do with all that information? Hold on. Let me go. What? Whoa. Ha! Thanks for opening the way. Bro, that's not an old man. There's no way his knees would let him run that fast. That's crazy. Dude's an Olympic sprinter at this rate. I think I am going to kill the old man, though, because I do end up with a jewel. Oh, great jewel. Grant me my wish. Make me rich. Extremely rich. I want gold all over me. Bro, just stab his ass. Oh, they're really going to grant that? Okay, I guess I have to kill him and rob him for all his gold. Because I really don't care. Ah, oh, my body. What's happening? <laughs> Dude moans like a wildebeest. Good riddance. My now. I'm not here for a wish. I need you to channel the spirits of my wife and my son and allow them to possess two vessels. My will is so strong. My dream so pure. I can feel it. You want to help me. I'm taking you with me. One vessel is ready. The other will need some adjustments. So the genie or whatever that thing is kind of grants the wishes in a very messed up way. So I took the jewel and escaped from the cave. Then I came back and locked myself in the workshop. All I wanted was to bring back your mother and your brother. Instead, I've created the monster. That thing isn't your brother. The jewel channeled something else. There must be a way to stop it. The only way to stop it would be to destroy the jewel. Father, 
Where is the jewel? Pinocchio has it. He took it from me. I managed to get away from him before he tried to kill me. He's far stronger than a human. He can easily break our necks and remove our limbs. What can we do then? A holy candle. We need a holy candle. Only a holy candle can weaken him. And where can I find one? Listen, Mia. This house was built of an old subterranean church. Apparently, the nuns kept holy candles. The entrance to the church is supposed to be in my workshop. I'm sure there must be a secret mechanism that will open the door to the church. I'm too old, too weak. Only you can find it. What about the front door? Can't we use a key, unlock the door and escape? No. If we leave, he'll find us eventually. We must stop him. What should I do? Look around the manor. I'm sure you'll find a way to reach the church. There are also rumors of an abandoned laboratory somewhere near the garden. But please be careful. Pinocchio is probably looking for you. Also take this key. It will come in handy. Geppetto's key. I think I know where I can use Geppetto's key. Don't worry, father. I'll stop him. I'll make you proud. Lock the door once I get out. You'll be safe here. What a daughter. Can we give it up for daughter of the year? Warning. Pinocchio can appear at random. If he appears, look for a place to hide. How though? How do I do that? Okay, let me see. Why are there footsteps in the bathtub? There's like little watery footsteps. Okay, it looked like she was smoking some good shit as she was taking a bath. That's interesting. Good thing we have soap bubble sensors. And now we are fully recovered. I think I know where to use this key though. I think we gotta use it somewhere down the bay. Ah! That's not right. That's not right. I was literally just walking. <laughs> he just appeared out of nowhere. How am I supposed to dodge that? Okay, I will go this way. And he's just gonna appear at random. So as soon as I get snipped once. <laughs> ah! Mother! <laughs> this dude's a mother, bro. He's a mother father. I need to go down to Geppetto's workshop, but I think I went the wrong way. Hold on, please tell me. It's unlocked! Yes! Okay, we're in the garden. No, why did I do that? Hold on, go back in. Go back in. I am so nervous. Pinocchio? Pinocchi? Okay. He's gone. Can't go that way. I will go this way, though. It kind of sucks that he can just appear wherever he wants. Like, that's kind of annoying. Maricia Gepetto. Pinocchio Gepetto. I didn't know Geppetto was a last name. I thought Geppetto was a first name. Wait, what? I don't know. Uh, one, two, three. That wasn't the right code. No shit. That was my first time seeing that. Okay. There's got to be something here that I can use to my advantage. Unless he can just spawn behind trees. Let me see something. Pinocchio Geppetto. Let us see a Geppetto. Hmm. I have no idea what a three-digit code could be. Okay, go in there. And please tell me that I can unlock more than just one door with this key. Because if not, this is going to suck so much ass. Item. Broom. Wait. This might help me reach things that are too high. Okay. I need to find things that are high then. A tome is missing. These books were here even before my father bought this house. There might be something useful recorded in this device, but the handle is broken. I need to find a replacement handle. Okay, I can do that. I can definitely do that. What about this? That's nothing. Okay. There's actually something high up there. Hold on. Let's use the item. Oh, front door key. Nice. I can unlock the front door and escape, but that would be selfish. Let me just try it. Let me actually just try it. Fuck Geppetto. You know how many years of my life he actually took off by all this stress? Let me leave. I'm escaping. Obviously, this is not the ending we are going to be satisfied with, but it's 1898. We're almost in the 1900s, everybody. And then what happened, Grandma? Then I was rescued by a handsome farmer. We fell in love and we got married two weeks later. He was Grandpa. Exactly. But what about Pinocchio and Geppetto? I never heard from them again, and I'm thankful for that. If they're still there, then I don't want to know. 
But enough stories for today. It's time for you to sleep. Come on, Grandma. One more story. Oh, honey. Don't be so impatient. There will always be time for more stories. After all, existence is a story that repeats itself in different forms forever. Visits at this time? Who could that be? I'll open the door. It's Pinocchio. He's come back for revenge! <laughs> yep. What did I tell you? Bro has not snipped his last snap. I'm telling you. So that's a very horrible ending to get. Because he caught up to us eventually. Just like Geppetto said. Ending 1 of 5. The past always comes back. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab this key. But I'm actually not going to do anything with it. I'm just gonna keep it in my back pocket. Just in case. And I think that if he snips you one time, you get at least a little wiggle room to at least live a little, right? And I think that one of the things that we can do... Please don't be down here. You're an asshole if you're down here, honestly. Okay. -hoo -hoo. Yeah, uh, this room was here before my father bought the house. I've always been scared of these armors. Are you kidding me? What? What am I supposed to do with all this information? I don't have any knowledge of any three-digit code or these armors. So, what in the holy ghost am I going to do? Let me see my items. I have these things. But that's about it. Okay. I don't know what to do with all this information, everybody. And I don't know what other rooms to check. That's the issue that I have with this shit. Let me refill that. And then, let me put on my light. Because it's pretty freaking dark. Well, it's not that dark. But it feels dark. And now this is unlocked. Suspicious room. What's so suspicious about this room? Hmm? I've seen more suspicious rooms. Oh my goodness. This freaking bitch. Where am I going to hide? Hold on. Where? Where, 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 where? Oh, shoot. Do not snip me. Do not snip me. Okay, he can't come outside. So, he's kind of just like restricted to the house. That's good to know. That's really good to know. I did see something, though. On the wall. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Look at that. Blue and golds. So, bottom left, top, and bottom right are blue. And then the rest are gold. One, two... There you go! That sounded like an armor moving. Is it in the suspicious room? Please tell me. Please, please, I, I want those problems. Armor moving. Phonograph handle. I think that was it. Yeah, that's gotta be it, right? Because I don't know where else it could be. Let me save real quick, just in case Pinocchio gets really snip happy. And let me check this sus room one more time. Nothing in the sus room, okay? Alright, still gonna remain sus. I know where to put this handle, though. I can handle where I'm about to put this handle. Let me just stop, because I'm actually nervous. I hate when they can spawn wherever they want. Like, there's no rhyme or reason. They just come out whenever. Like, right now. Oh, imagine? I was trying to predict it. But imagine, though. This bitch. He's somewhere here. I know he is. He's really snip-happy. Right here. Oh, shit. You son of a... Okay. 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 Let me go. Um, Go back outdoors. Because that's the only place where I know how to hide. Because everywhere else... Yeah, see? No time for that. Yeah, let me go outside real quick. This is his kryptonite. Fresh air. Touching grass. This dude don't know how to do any of that. See? And now he's gone. So hopefully he doesn't pop back out. I'm playing this on normal, by the way. When you started the game, they ask you easy, medium, or hard. And then I just chose medium. I chose medium well. Because I was like, you know what? If he doesn't come that often, then what's the fun in that? But if he comes too often, which is hard mode, then that's gonna suck ass. I can't replace the handle now. Oh, I can replace it, my bad. Should I play it? Yes. Let's listen to these sweet ass tunes. 862. I got you, I got you. 862. It worked! There's a button inside. Should I press it? Yes. I think I know what that's for. Remember that suspicious room? I think that bookcase moved. Oh, this is awkward. Okay, so the side gate to the house open. A broken clock. All right, y'all know what they say about broken clocks, right? Wait, what can I do with this? Oh, 
Oh boy. All right, let me think, let me think, let me think. That's interesting. There's different arrows pointed over here. Oh! The hands on the clock looks like it says one o'clock or 12 o'clock. Hold on. And then the one in the, in the manor said 12, quarter, pla quarter past 12, right? Hold on, let me try this. Okay. Put this here. Got it. Okay, so this little road thing was almost simulating a clock. Got it. These puzzles are pretty cool. They're cool. Like a like a six out of ten. Let me save real quick though. I'm a save whore. I'm a little save whore, if you couldn't tell. Let's refill that though. A broken clock, no problem. Pinocchio is gonna be down here, everybody. So just be ready. I already know. If there's one thing I know about this world, the uh, Pinocchio's down here for surezies. My lamp doesn't work though. Why? Why not? Yeah, let's refill that. Even though it's not doing shit. These books are written in Latin. Carulius, Rubius, Flavius, Viridius. Let me take a picture of that, cause that looks important. I don't know who those people are, but I caught you in 4K, bitch. I took that picture and I am going to use it to whatever I want to use it for. Why are these candles lit? How is it even possible? How strange, what kind of a device is this? I've never seen anything like it. It has keys with letters on top of them. Maybe I could use this to write something? Uh, <laughs> what? I spelled it wrong. Nothing happened. Maybe I'm supposed to write specific words, words in Latin maybe? There must be a clue nearby. There's a painting in the ceiling. Should I take a look? Yes. Huh. Snow Van Gogh, but it's all right. This doesn't seem related to the typewriter, but it might help me later. Let me just save one more time. Like I said, everybody, I'm a save whore. Let's write some of the words that we took a picture of. So one of them is Carulius. So Kai Ruli ass. Like that, right? Kyrulius. Oh shit, I did it wrong. I'm going away. I want to figure some other things out in this place. Because shit is not adding up. Would you like to skip this puzzle? No. Why would I want to skip this puzzle? What the f... Okay. What? Hold on. Maybe I have to look up the name of each of these things. And then it's going to tell me a number. Let me do Rubius. R-U-B-E-U-S. 318. Okay, so I guess I'm spelling it wrong. So the red one is 318. Maybe I should skip this puzzle. Because this one seems a little bit more time consuming than it is being smart. But you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for you all. So let's do red equals 318. I'm going to fast forward this and we are going to get the entire code. I, S, got it. 71, really? Could even have three digits? What a sad, pathetic loser. But I got everything, everybody. I'm not skipping any code. Those codes skip me, I don't skip shit. I'm sorry, everybody. I think I'm big and bad, but I'm not really like that, okay? So blue is four, two, eight. Got it. And then red is 318. Yellow is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 71. Bam! Something happened. That sounds scary as shit. Let me put my trusty notebook away and move this shit. Okay. Save whore. Oh no. Would you like to skip this puzzle? No. I want to know exactly what's going on here. What? Oh, you gotta be freaking joking me. I have to make that puzzle out of that thing that I saw in the telescope. Bro. I do want to skip this puzzle, please. Oh, please, God, I want to skip this. This is going to take forever. Yes, I would like to skip this puzzle. 
Something happened. Yes, I am ashamed of myself. But those laughs are laughing at me, not with me. I promise you all. Let me save one more time. That's the last time I'm saving. Until I find another save book. I don't like these laughs, though. I don't appreciate that. I want to refill my oil. And I want to check this. The books are written in Latin. Oh, we know about that. Okay. Let's go down here. Uh oh. That's so funny. That's so funny. I haven't even told a joke yet. I haven't even said anything funny yet. Missing tome. That's funny, though. Oh, shit. Bro's getting real snippy. Oh, boy. I'm dead, huh? I'm dead, aren't I? Stop. Stop. Bro, relax! I got chills on my legs. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got him. Bro, that was way too easy. Something's not right. That was way too easy to get through. So I need to put the missing tome where the stack of books are. That sound. It came from below. Okay. So we have to go to the suspicious room. Wait, not here. Yeah, we have to go to the suspicious room. I knew that suspicious room was good for something. Down here. Pinocchio's waiting for me. He's already snipping the shears, bro. I know. I know my own brother. I would do the same exact thing. We share the same blood. Fuck, this wasn't it. This was the wrong thing. This is awkward. He's waiting for me over here. I can smell him. I can smell the pine on his ass. Because he's made out of wood, right? I wish you would. I really wish you would, son. Yeah, you're my son. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's the question mark room. That's when you know some shit's about to go down when not even the room has a name. Oh my fuck! Look, Mia. I grew up. I'm a big man now. I love you, sis. Please hug me. I need all your hugs. No! Get away from me! Would you like to skip this chase? No. I love getting chased. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Tell me if I want to skip this chase. What the... How was I supposed to know that there was an armor thing there? Hug me, Mia. I need your hugs. <laughs> Holy crap. Hold on, let me see how we're going to do this. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, okay. Got it. That's annoying. Oh. What? Okay, so if he can just jump over me, what am I supposed to do? Just backtrack and then use the night thing to trap him? Because, yeah, he can jump over because that bitch got hops. So anytime he jumps over, I immediately just start backtracking. I don't know why Pinocchio laughs like that. And by that, I mean laugh like a little bitch boy. So, oh my goodness. Bro, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. So this is how we have to do it? I don't understand. Fuck. Okay. So we just got to keep doing that. And he's just going to run at us like he's limping or something. Like we just got done breaking his freaking ankles. So this is okay. I can handle this. I can handle this. Just don't jump over me, please. If there's one thing that I can ask of you as your brother, as your sister, do not jump over me. I've been the best sister to you! Come on, Pinocchio! Church entrance. How do we do that? Oh, there's a switch. I need to find a holy candle. This must be the underground church. Is there, a, like, a bathtub here where I can regain my health? Let me refill that. And I definitely don't want to do that chase scene again. So let's do a little bit of that. And I think that we're going to get the ending because I think it said that we can't go back. Knife. Ooh. A knife? I guess I can keep it. I'm not going to give it up. Shit. Should we save again? No, nah, I don't want to save again. I'll take the holy candle. Yes. Now I can defeat Pinocchio. Pinocchio, I'm coming for you, bitch boy. What was that? I don't know. Sounded like somebody falling on their ass. Sister, why do you run from me? Don't you love me? Don't you want to cuddle with me? What kind of sick freak? The holy candle will defeat you. Come on, candle. Do something. Throw it at him. <laughs> Holy candles only work against ethereal entities. I'm fully materialized. No. 
Stop, Pinocchio! It's Geppetto with all that ass, my boy. Father? That's the jewel? Pinocchio never took the jewel. I always had it with me. You were controlling him? I still haven't mastered the powers of the jewel, so at times I wasn't able to control him. I needed you alive, so that was a problem. Father, what's going on? I knew the holy candle would have no effect on Pinocchio. In order for the ritual to work, you had to come down here by your own will. Ritual? What ritual? The possession ritual, of course. The holy candle was just a way to make you come here. You see, inanimate objects can be possessed everywhere. But living vessels can only be possessed in a church like this one. I have no idea what this accent has become, but we're just rolling with it, alright? This church belonged to a cult. The cult of Zagratha Kalahata. Zalahata Lahava? Zalahajavlaza is an ancient deity with powers beyond human comprehension. This jewel, it was created by Zalazulada and given to its followers as a gift. Unfortunately for them, they were discovered and executed for hearsay many years ago. Then the jewel was hidden in the northern cave. Fortunately for me, I was able to retrieve it. I don't understand. What are you planning to do? You are the second vessel, Mia. You look so much like your mother. You're perfect! With the power of the jewel, I will channel your mother's spirit and allow it possess your body. Your mind and soul will be erased forever! A clean slate. Everything will be as it was always meant to be. A family of three. Me, Pinocchio, and my wife, Maricia. No! That's... that's sick! You're crazy! A broken man is capable of many things in order to achieve his dreams. I've never cared about you, so your sacrifice will mean nothing to me. Actually, you're not even the real Mia. What? I accidentally killed Mia many years ago. Then I found out about the jewel and its powers. I needed a vessel that resembled Maricia. So I went to an orphanage and adopted you. You look so much like Maricia. Even more than the real one. Holy shit, what a freaking twist. So we're not even Mia. We're just somebody that he kidnapped and then he killed the other Mia. What a messed up individual Geppetto is. I want to kill this dude. I have the knife. No, it cannot be. Who am I then? Just an orphan I raised for the ritual. I waited until you were the same age as Maricia the day she died. 30 years old. I brainwashed you into thinking you were the real Mia. See? My plan is perfect. You are nothing but a living marionette. I just had to pull your strings. Damn you, Geppetto! I hate you! I just need your body. Now stand still while I begin the ritual. Please, no! Blah, 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 blah. I beg of you. Lend me your power. Summon the spirit of my wife, Maraceo Geppetto. What should I do? I want to say first, accept your fate, ask Pinocchio for help, steal the jewel from Geppetto, slit, bro, I'm not doing that, I'm not doing that, um, let me accept my fate, that's something that I'm not gonna take as the real ending, I just wanna see what happens, alright, I give up, I'm tired of running, I'm not doing the last one though, that one sounds completely messed up, I'll do it off camera, and then we'll see what happens, holy crap, that's dark, I finally did it, I got the family I always dreamed of. Dreams do come true. Wow. So, this dude completely lost it. Ending 2 out of 5, Geppetto's dream. So this time we're gonna ask our brother for help. Pinocchio! Please help me! I promise I'll cuddle with- what the- Come on, man. I, I, I didn't expect that, alright, everybody? Come on, this is some stepbro type shit. Don't listen to her, son. You don't need her. Your mother is more important. Sister? Cuddle? Yes, I want to cuddle with Big Sister. I'm tired of you, old man. I'm not your slave. No, Pinocchio, stop. It's in order. No, get away from me. I have the jewel. You are supposed to obey me. I love my sister. What in the stepsister, stepbro type shit? This is crazy. I didn't expect this. I, I'm not on board with... Wait, he killed her. 
Holy crap, that is sick. Oh my goodness. Yo, these endings are dark. He's cuddling with her, but he just broke her bones. Ending three out of five, brotherly love. So the last one that we are going to do is steal the jewel from Geppetto. Mia tackles Geppetto and takes the jewel from him. Yeah, bitch, how you like that? No, give it back. Jewel, get rid of them. Yeah, Jewel, do as I say. Because I'm your leader, your ruler. I don't understand how that works, though. So whoever possesses the jewel can just say whatever they want to do. All right. Hand it to me. I got some things that I want. And now we're just chilling in the bathtub. Okay, at least we still have the soap bubble sensors. I did it. They're gone. For the first time in my life, I'm free. I would not stay in that house. That house looks creepy. Unfortunately, because she used the jewel, Mia was left cursed. Her descendants would suffer from an affliction called vampirism. None of these endings are good. Like, all these are so freaking sad. Ending 4 out of 5 cursed. Let me just see the last one. Let me see what happens if we do the throat one. You will never have me. Okay, it doesn't even show it anyway. We're good. No! Now I can't bring Maricia back. Everything is ruined. Everything was in vain. So much planning, so much patience, so much determination. In the end, they meant nothing. I wasted my life yearning for something that I'll never have. Is this a punishment? Should I have accepted their deaths? No, I can't accept that. I can't let the dead go. Lord, blah, 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 blah. Why have you forsaken me? Yeah, all these endings are just completely messed up. Can't there be one happy ending? Can't there be one ending with light out of the tunnel? Ending five out of five wasted lives. So those were all the endings, everybody. And I don't know which one just feels the most optimistic. Maybe none of them were supposed to be optimistic. Maybe that's just the reality of the situation that this whole thing was completely messed up. I was kind of hoping that there was going to be a way Mia could escape. I guess when you escape the manor and then Pinocchio comes for you when you're old... I guess that would have been the best one technically because at least you lived a full life, right? And then you died at the end. But all those endings were completely dark. Let me know which one you thought was the best ending. That was Pinocchio... Pinocchio Rio or something like that. I actually had a fun time playing it. It wasn't as creepy as I thought, but every time Pinocchio came out, I did get a little jumpy. Let me know if you enjoyed this though. If you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!